Hello YouTube. My name is Lego Crop 75 and today I have a have another Lego set review video for you. And today we will be reviewing uh this little Lego set I picked up the other day. It is the Paz Vizsla and Moff Gideon battle. Uh, uh yeah. So Paz Vizsla is this uh, hunky dude right here with the cool armor. And the uh, laser minigun from the show, which is fucking awesome. This is his jetpack, which is, honestly, for a $40 Lego set, it's pretty bare bones. But, you know, whatever. I could probably make it look better later. But, yeah, there's that guy. We also get a uh, Moff Gideon right here in his Darth Maul Beskar armor and jetpack, which is actually pretty cool. Let me just grab the set here. I got him on the turret here. He's got this jetpack behind him, which looks pretty cool. It's got that Darth Vader look to it, as well as like some control buttons and whatnot. I can just get the zoom. There we go. Yeah, it's so a pretty cool stuff. Uh, the laser turret that comes with this Lego set diorama is pretty cool. You know, and you got these freaking flintlock laser pistols. Let's uh, show that off real quick. <laughs> right on okay stop stop doing that okay picture yeah comes with a few of these extra studs as well um you actually keep them down here which is pretty neat oh my god was it it's just kind of square now in the video ah whatever but yeah turret goes there put moff getting on there you also got these two dudes these um Imperial Praetorian Guards, so, yeah, with the red helmets and whatnot, pretty cool looking, pretty cool. The door also, um, has a mechanism in it, oh, well, you just turn it around here, you just, it stays up like that, the, on there, with that mechanism, and you just, boop, oh, well, their heads are in the way, so you can't really, there we go, but yeah, it's just the door falls on them. Shuts and everything is pretty dope looking. It's honestly, it's a pretty cool di battle diorama. Uh, a lot of good pieces on it. Like, look at these pieces, dude. Like, holy shit, these are the kind of pieces I use for like my Lego box when I really want to detail stuff. As you can see here on my Infinity build, you know, this is what I those are the kind of pieces I would be using there to really detail it, the shit out. You know, so pretty dope, pretty dope. Um, yeah, overall pretty cool set. I will, I will not lie. Also got a little area back there, but devoid of detail, but that's okay. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, the only thing I can really complain about is the price tag, because this thing is, you know, as the box is less than 300 pieces, and I don't know if that includes the spare parts or not. I'm going to assume it doesn't. You know, spare parts are spare parts. They just put those in extra just in case somehow they go missing. You know, during the build process or what have you. But yeah. But aside from that, it's it's a forty dollar Lego set for just all this, a door and a turret, I, and four uh, minifigures. Like I don't know if that's a good value, a bad value. Personally, I think it's a bad value. I also came with a bunch of stickers, as you can see in the box there, but I didn't put them on because. I wasn't planning on having this built for long because I only bought this Lego set the other day just to get this guy. Literally only just to get this guy in his armor. That's the only reason why I bought it was just for that guy alone. So really I spent 40 bucks on him. However, parts are really good. I mean, some of these pieces, you know, I usually go out of my way to buy them on Bricklink because they're so good. So I'm going to have those now. You know, dark gray pieces I love so damn much just as much as i love light gray pieces and black so phenomenal really good part find so i don't know if it'd be worth it to just purchase this lego set over and over again just to get those pieces i doubt it honestly like personally i'd rather buy it from the person who's doing that because they're just selling it for money so but yeah really good part acquisition you know bottom pieces too got down here Really nice. Just overall, just a, you know what? Not a bad Lego set, I will say. Um, but yeah, build, build process. <laughs> this took me at most a half an hour to an hour to build. 
Yeah, that's because I was just being lazy. If I was speed building this, it'd probably take me, what, 20 minutes at most? After some practice, maybe even less time. Who knows? You know, but overall, just a fun little build. Um, you know, nice, I guess, nice replayability. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's just a simple set. I honestly would go for something bigger or just that has something that has more to it. Because this is just simple and overpriced. It's, in my opinion, it's just simple and overpriced. It's just, you know. So unless you really want the figures and just want the parts and you don't plan on having this thing built, I'd say don't get it, honestly. If like you don't want if you just don't need those parts and you don't want the figures, I, I wouldn't go for it. But yeah. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below and let me know if you got this Lego set and what you think. But yeah, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care and have a wonderful day.